Good evening all and welcome to the first blog for my narrowboat, Swan Song. And I was going to leave it until towards the latter part of next week, um, but I'll tell you about that later. So, I've been on the boat now for one week. It's taken me this amount of time to sort out my, my unpacking. And I can confirm I had way, way too much stuff on the boat. In fact, um, I think in the end I got it down to five um, plastic containers. And uh, most of that was my tech. Um, I think there was probably about one and a half which took up the my clothes and the things like towels and bed sheets and stuff like that. Um, everything else is I had to go. I've had to get rid of. There just wasn't the space. I was thinking about giving a little um, video of the inside tonight, but I'm going to leave that. You'll have to look out tomorrow night for that. Um, that's Monday. Just want to fill you in one or two things. What's happening? What's happened? My my experiences. Right. So, I'm, I um, the first kind of problem was um, when I moved on the boat. It got moved over here, which was okay from uh, the brokers. Um, but I couldn't get the the cooker, uh, not the cook, the oven or the um, well. I couldn't get anything uh, working on the gas. But then eventually, I, I got I got the um, I got this uh, the yeah the the hob working. Um, but what I didn't realise is there was two switches. What you turn on and off. But they're set up different, and they're, they're hidden under the sink. And um, so when I thought I'd got both switched on, in fact, one was switched on and one wasn't. But they're both facing the same direction. So anyway, um, Charlie from the Marina Air, he, um, he helped me with that. And uh, we, we got that sorted. So then everything, all the gas is working. That's brilliant. Um, internet's been an issue, and I still haven't got the full potential signal, but I have got enough to download and uh, very slowly upload. I don't think there's enough for live viewing at the moment, um, but I have. I've got this. I've just need to get the the aerial up on the roof rather than um, it's kind of inside at the moment. Um, I know that if I move it around outside I will get a good signal. Um, I've tested it so I know. So, so that was another uh, issue. Then I had the... what did I have the next problem? Um, wasn't sure how to use the cassette toilet. Um, but anyway, eventually that because I hadn't got I hadn't found the manual at that time, and uh, thanks to Facebook, managed to get a few things sorted. And um, but the only issue was that the cassette was too full. So when I've took I've still got it standing down here. And that's part of the reason you're not I'm not filming at the minute. Uh, it's, on the floor, um, it was too full. So when I went to exchange it, um, it was a right mess, and I had to clean that all up, which I've done today. And I found the new cassette, which I um, I didn't know where it was, but eventually I found it after a lot of searching today, and that's gone in, and it's all working. So that's that's a lesson, big lesson. Oh, now I know, now I remember. The other lesson was, when I had a shower first, um, the basin was filled up and it was basically almost coming over. 
and uh, the water just weren't going down the drain and I couldn't understand why so I had to do a lot of research bear in mind I've got never been on a um, narrowboat before and I've never used any of these cassette uh, n never used um, mobile stuff whether it's caravan or whatever uh, I've never that's never been my issue uh, my you know my dad or whatever would have took care of that I didn't so um, anyway eventually by accident because I'd, I'd, at this point I'd figured out that you need uh, there's a switch somewhere um, and I thought there was two switches on the outside of the shower in the um, kind of uh, outside the cubicle I should say and I discovered that one was a light and one was I assume uh, either a fan or some sort of uh, maybe to give power to the shower but it didn't do anything with the basin so um, so then I waited for a couple of hours to see where the water would go and it didn't so then I started uh, looking again then I took a break and I was going to put some um, I'd still got some clothes to put away uh, not clothes, some towels and flannels and things and at this point I um, by accident I um, hit this knob what you press in or uh, pull out sorry and then there was an almighty noise and uh, and the water started going from the shower and uh, so that was it it drained it and then it made a lot of noise at the end so I quickly pressed it back in and uh, so that sorted that out still not sure about whether I'm meant to be pulling that uh, as soon as I get the um, the t taps running whether in the shower whether I should I say taps I mean the shower head um, whether I should put that on beforehand or whether I do it after I don't know perhaps if anyone's watching this uh, perhaps you can tell me so uh, so that was another thing sorted uh, so yeah I've been gradually working through things the next thing well I may have missed one or two things, but I'll come back to that if I, if I remember. Uh, was to get a table in here because there was no table. But at this point, my plastic containers were kind of up to the, not far off the ceiling, stacked up. So that, you know, so I had to, so I got rid of those first. And then I've actually, the table came yesterday, I had to assemble it. And, uh, and I've set it up today. Hence, the camera is on the table and I'm sitting on the settee with, well, you can't see her, but ladies fast asleep next to me. So, uh, so it's been a bit of a learning process. I didn't pick up on, in, on any of these things on, on the hundreds of YouTube videos that I'd watched. So hopefully this may help some others who are new to uh, Now About Life. Um, the other thing was because I've got no, because I've never driven a narrowboat in any sense, whether it be on a um, hired one or, or you know whatever. Um, when it came to insurance, um, basically I got I have to start from zero um, up to whatever ten years. Bit like it's like a car to gain you no claims and that. And because I was on zero, uh, when I insured it um, I'm unable to initially drive the boat myself it has to be an experienced person with me at all times until I've got some of those no claims now to me that's not going to uh, matter because I'm not going to be leaving the marina for at least a year or so and I'll probably be based here you know longer than maybe permanently probably but going on trips so so I'm not I've got to get my health and that right first and that's been really tough uh, <laughs> the car park it's, it, it's not very far for most people but for me it's very far with this long Covid so I've got myself a little stall what I carry over my shoulder one of these fold away you can actually get it put it in your pocket when it's folded away but I just leave it open 
and I sit down. That's what I basically do. Every so often I have a sit down, uh, just take in the lovely views and uh, and then after a few minutes I carry on and get back to the car. But I'm finding that one journey a day is all I can cope with at the minute. So when I do go to the car uh, and I go out, I make sure that I get what I need so I don't because I know I won't be able to get out again without struggling. So, uh, yeah, so that was, that's that. Um, so this week, folks, this week's going to be a busy week again. I'm looking forward to the weekend, or I'm looking forward to Friday, to be honest. Um, and I'll tell you what the issues are. Tomorrow, which is Monday, I think it's Monday. Yeah, it is Monday. A uh, lady is going in for an operation to the vet. She's having a lump removed and uh, she's got, it's going to be an all day job. So, uh, so that's going to take tomorrow up. I'm not going to come back to the boat in the day. Well, I, I probably will. I don't know. I don't know what I'll be doing yet. But, um, you know, because they'll let me know when she's fit enough to come back. Fingers crossed, that is, because she'll be under a general anaesthetic. Um, and then Tuesday, folks, it's... Um, I'm having my... Tip, my um, I'm having two teeth out. So, um, come Wednesday, I'm not going to have any teeth in on the top. And, um, and I'll have to wait then until Thursday, until I get the new dentures so that'll be another journey so it's all go it's gonna be a lot of miles done uh, this week in the car and then after that oh friday's okay oh saturday then i've got the food jab <sighs> and in and and also i've got to take i've got to have the booster jab as well because i'm at risk with my long covid and i've had a, a message come through so i've got to get that sorted as well and uh, I know that I'm now just at that um, period, six months is it, after the second jab. I think it was this week when that came up. So, so yeah, so I'll get that done as soon as I can. So, yeah, but anyway, folks, you don't want to hear all about that anymore. Just want to say I love the boat. I just adore it. Um... I am going to be able to do some cooking on here. I've, I've got myself a tabletop freezer now, um, and so that's good. I've also got myself a um, deep fat fryer, a small one, and I've got a halogen oven, and I can use these all on the on here on the boat. Um, just got to find a spot for it, so there's a little bit more tidying up, uh, a bit more organising, and then. Uh, so that will then that will be sorted, and uh, so I've got that to look forward to. Um, so yeah, it's bit at a time. It's all a very big learning experience. What I can say is, I just love the inside here, and I love the outside. I love the bird life. It's just fantastic. You hear, and you get to realise what time. Um, you'll get ducks, you'll get the geese, you'll get the swans. Up until I'd come here, I hadn't seen a swan in flight before, you know, uh, but apart from just above the water. So it's quite a sight. And when they fly uh, directly over your boat, you can hear the wings and that. It really is unbelievable. So we have all that and the geese. Uh, and then I can actually, well, from where I'm sitting here and looking out the window, which is at the back of the camera here, I can actually see the red kites and the buzzards flying around and I can usually pick up when they're around because I can hear the crows and they usually chase them. So, ah, oh, it's beautiful. And uh, you, uh, if you're interested in a, in a lot of the photos what I've taken, um, they are, uh, you'll be able to see quite a few of them on my Twitter page and Instagram for um, 
Julia's narrow, narrow boat life. I think it's, um, I'm not sure it's Twitter where it's narrow boat life, but you'll find me anyway. Just look for the, for the cuddly koala um, avatar and you'll see me. It's in pink. So that's it folks, I think that's all I can uh, fill you in with at the minute. Um, and uh, hopefully this is going to be like the first of many uh, chats that I have. Um, I may do a, uh, try and do a live chat uh, once I get my teeth. <laughs> my dentures, as I say. <laughs> Um, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's just nice. To, this is the first real time that I've actually been able to chill out on this settee without because it's there's been stuff on here, it's been you know high, and the space was only enough for either Lady or me. And Lady usually got the spot, and I ended up just going onto the bed, but um. We've got the full length of the settee now and it's big enough for both of us. I'm just watching uh, some uh, Netflix here and uh, yeah, so it's all it's all fun and games and uh, I am hope uh, I'm not bored you too much. I hope you continue to watch the channel with all the uh, ups and downs and uh, I'll try and uh, fill you in on exactly what's happening you know, when I come across things, when I have these good and bad experiences and uh, you have to look on the bright side, it's all learning. Oh, I'll tell you what, we had some torrential rain today, well, torrential for, for what, what I'm used to here in the UK and uh, it was coming through, <laughs> I was getting a drip coming down here and it was, uh, yeah, but it was, it's, I think it was just catching the edge of the settee uh, or going onto the floor. But it wasn't enough to really, um, you know, soak the place. But that's something I'm going to have to get. So. Oh, sorry, folks. Oh, a yawn came over me. I, hopefully, I'll sleep tonight, but I must wake up early tomorrow, early start to drop Lady off at the vet. Right, okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you when I see you. Don't forget to check Twitter and Instagram and uh, I'm still on Facebook as well if you can find me on there. I think it's, you, if you put Growing with Julie you'll probably find uh, my presence. I've still got my um, groups and uh, pages and my profile I think you'll probably find if you do that rather than put Julie Drake in but um, you know I'm sure you'll find me you can see what I look like so okay bye for now <laughs>